Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 18 of my linear algebra tutorial series. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to continue learning about all the great things we can do with determinants. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to calculate a determinant, and I'm also going to show you how to solve system of equations with determinants. And I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, so the very first thing I want to talk about is the rule of Saris. So let's say we have a matrix of this form, which is a three by three matrix. Well, we can find the determinant for any three by three matrix by augmenting the matrix with the first two columns. So we're just going to put four and five, negative two and six, one and four, right like that. And now what we'll be able to do is sum these diagonals right here, the product of those diagonals. And then we are going to get these diagonals that are right here and subtract them from the previous sum. And that is going to give us a real quick way to calculate a determinant for three by three matrices. So this is going to become four times six times three plus five times two times one plus one times negative two times four. And then we're going to say minus five times negative two times three minus four times two times four minus one times six times one. And this is going to give us 72 plus 10 minus 8 minus negative 30 minus 32 minus 6. And if we calculate that out, we're going to find that our determinant for this matrix A is equal to 66. And if you look in the last part of the tutorial, you will see that that's exactly the same results I got there. Up next, I want to talk about Kramer's rule. Now, it's going to provide a way of solving systems of equations. If you have one equation of this form equal to D and another one of this form equal to H, what we're going to do is we are going to create a matrix C from these parts and A, B, F, and G. We're going to create another matrix D, B, H, and G, and another one A, D, F, and H. And we will be able to go and find the values for X and Y by finding the determinant of X over the determinant of C. And we'll be able to find the value for Y by finding the determinant of Y divided by the determinant of C. So neat stuff. So let's go. Let's say we have an equation 2X plus Y is equal to seven. And we have another one, x minus y is equal to two. And we wanna solve those. Well, we can go and find c easily enough. Two, one, one, negative one. x is going to be seven, two, one, and negative one. y is two, seven, one, and two. And then we just find the determinant of each of them. So determinant of C is going to be two times negative one minus one times one, which is gonna be equal to negative three. The determinant of X, the X matrix that is, is going to be seven times negative one minus two times one, which is gonna be equal to negative nine. And the determinant for the Y matrix is going to be equal to two times two minus seven times one, which was equal to negative three as well. Now what I can do to find the values for 
x and y is just come in and get negative 9 over negative 3 and the value for y is going to be negative 3 over negative 3 and if we work that out we will see the value for x is 3 and the value for y is 1. Alright, so starting to see the benefit of working with determinants and there's going to be much more coming up in future videos but I'm going to give you yet another way to solve equations. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to solve equations with determinants and inverses and I briefly talked about inverses previously in this tutorial series. The symbol for a matrix A looks like that and what we're going to be able to do is solve systems of equations with these inverse matrices along with a little help from a determinant. So I'm just going to work through an example here. Let's say you have 4x plus 5y is equal to 23 and you also have negative 2x plus 6y is equal to 14 and you want to solve these. Well the above is going to be able to be represented as 4, negative 2, 5, and 6 multiplied by x and y and equal to our result 23 and 14. And what we're going to be able to do here is if this is matrix A and this is a vector x and this is equal to another vector b. I'm going to work through exactly what's going on. If we multiply both sides times the inverse, so that would be a inverse and a and our vector and a inverse vector b. Well whenever you multiply a matrix times its inverse what do you get? You get the identity matrix which in the matrix world is exactly the same as 1. So this is going to simplify down to see that we can actually find the values of x and y just by going and getting the inverse for a and multiplying it times b. All right, so simple stuff. All right, so let's do it. So I want to take a inverse is equal to, and this is where the determinant comes in. We're going to go and get the determinant and this is going, I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like here. So this is going to be like this over 1. And then you're going to multiply this times D minus B, C, and A. And this is going to be a real quick and easy way for us to go and find the inverse for any matrix. So the way this is going to work out is our determinant for our matrix for 5, negative 2, and 6 is going to be 4 times 6 minus 5 times negative 2, and this is going to be equal to 34. Now what we're going to be able to do is go 1 over 34 and 6 minus 5, negative, negative 2, and 4 and if we multiply this scalar we're going to end up getting 3 over 17 1 over 17 negative 5 over 34 and 2 over 17 and if we then go and multiply this new matrix times this vector right here which contains our answer so let's go 3 over 17, negative 5 over 34, 1 over 17, and 2 over 17 times our original 23 over 14. Well, this is going to work out to be 3 over 17 times 23 plus negative 5 over 34 times 14 and 1 over 17 times 23 plus 2 over 17 times 14 
And that gives us our final answer for x and y of 2 and 3. All right, so there you go. A quick way to go and calculate determinants and two different ways to solve equations with determinants. Hopefully you found that useful. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.